Hi everyone, welcome to Course Galaxy. So yesterday I have shared the scenario. So this video is based on the previous scenario only. So if you guys not aware about the scenario, you can uh, check out the link in the description section, or you can check the previous video which is uploaded. And I suggest you to first go through the scenario, then only come to this video because this is related to the previous one only. So yesterday, what is happening in the trigger? Uh, we, uh, user is not having the access to the child object but uh, still the trigger runs successfully and able to create the child reports. This is because the triggers and the Apex classes run in the system mode. Okay, where the user or it will going to have complete access of the course of all the objects and the fields etc. So now the next option here comes what if we use a with sharing keyword in the Apex class or in the trigger handler will still the user will able to create the record and the trigger will execute successfully and the child record will be created so here the answer is yes if you use the wish sharing keyword also still the trigger will run and able to create the ch uh, child record and the user is still not having the permission on the profile and the permission set to create this record so why this is happened so here when it comes to wish sharing keyword so using the wish sharing keyword only it will going to check the access on the record level okay so it will not going to check the access on the profiles and the fields it will only going to check the sharing settings sharing rules and all only on the record level okay whether the user is having access to this record or not now here the next question comes what if i want to run my trigger with the permissions the user is having for the objects and the fields. So in this case, what we will do, you guys have must heard about the functions like is creatable, is accessible, is readable, is editable. So these are the functions which are used to check the permissions of the objects and the fields whether the user is having or not. Okay. So when you guys write the dynamic code in which you are not aware about the objects and the fields and you want your code to be done with the user's permission only that is if the user is having permission on the object level of or of this particular object then only it should uh, execute for this user and if it, he is having the access for this field then only he is able to make the queries on the fields. So for this type of scenario we will going to use this this type of function that is is creatable accessible and editable so this is how using this function and using with sharing keyword we will going to completely run our code with the, within the user's permission only that is now it will going to check object level security also field level and the record level also so with sharing is only enforces the record level access and the functions which I have shared is editable and readable and all will going to check the object and the field level permissions also okay so if in the previous scenario if you guys only going to use the wish sharing keyword then here no object and the field level permissions will be checked so this is uh, this is because the trigger will run successfully but here if you use the uh, functions whether I can update this or I can insert this object then it will not going to insert the record because here the user is not having the permission on the object level or of this object okay hope you guys understand the, um, the differences and how we can run our epic classes and the trigger within the user's permissions only so let me know if you still have any issues or any queries thank you